welcome to this issue of the book gathering. We're so excited that you're with us. And today we are diving into part three already. Can you believe that? And part three in the medical uh, aesthetic success book is all about the guest experience and retention. But today's chapter, which is chapter eight, is going to be all about my favorite part, actually. This is probably my favorite chapter because we are going to go over exactly the business model that we teach everyone in our community so you can generate multiple millions of dollars within your facilities. So today is super valuable. So I would highly recommend you grab a pen and a paper, turn off all distractions and stay with us because we are going to share some awesome information you're definitely gonna wanna implement. Uh, before I start though, in case you're new with us, you don't have a book yet, you can go to medicalaestheticsuccess.com and get a copy or it's also available on Amazon. If you like to get one super fast, you could do that. And if you've missed previous chapters, you can go on YouTube. They are all there for you under the book gathering area on our YouTube channel that's Inspiration Management. And while you're there, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell. We are always putting out some great content to help you with your business and step into all the millions of dollars that you could be generating in case you're not generating already. So today with me, I have my little high achiever, my little sidekick, Danny, <laughs> my giggler. We call her the giggler. And then I have Julia and Gina, and we have, of course, our producer here, David, and Nakia's over on Zoom. So we're live everywhere. And then, of course, we have Sharon, who's also going to chime in and share some information with you. So we're super excited you're here. So let's go ahead and start. Now, you may have already read this chapter, or by the way, you might have heard it if you, don't, if you have Audible or uh, you have it as an audio. It is available on audio, by the way, too, in case you can't read and sit down and read. Not that you can't read, but you know what I mean. <laughs> that if you would rather listen, it's also available on Audible so you can actually listen instead of reading. Now, I love to do both. I love to listen and read, but who knows? All right, so the first part of this book is all about discussing the first ch uh, the chapter number eight is all about talking about the lifetime client journey. So what do you do with your clients once they find you? And we're going to discuss that whole process today and show you how every step of this process is super important and you need to apply it effectively and uh, immediately really to get the results that we want you to get right so let's start with what a lifetime client value is and how long they should stay a client that's a great until they die you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness lifetime client value actually is a very important metric that you need to know what that is within your business and the easiest way really, but without going into too much uh, depth, you just wanna run a report, see how long people are staying with you right now. I would run it maybe for five years. I would run it by client name and client spent, spending habits, and see how long people are staying with you, how often they're coming back to you, and what is the value of each one of these clients? Because once you know that number, actually it's gonna help you in many ways. It's gonna help you determine how much money you should invest in marketing to attract one client. Because if you're not keeping them long enough, you can't afford to spend a lot of money on marketing. But if you're spending whatever it is, $10 to $50 to acquire one client, then the longer you keep them, the lower that cost really is when it comes to marketing. So of course, as a rule of thumb, when people come to you in a medical spa environment, it's easy to spend a thousand dollars there, you know, a filler here, Botox here. 
we were just talking with Dr. Walters and her volume per guest was $1,700. So let's say each person comes to see you and they're spending $1,500 or $1,700 and they come every month and invest that kind of money with you. Now you're up to thousands of dollars during that one year period. And then if we keep them up to five years, which you really should at least maintain a client for five years, now that one client is worth thousands and thousands of dollars. And the model that we teach is all to prolong that process and make sure that people stay with you longer. Right, and you use a great analogy here in the book about the model itself being related to a client's journey as a movie. And yes. <laughs> each department plays a role yeah. in that movie. So yeah. can you tell us about, so we've covered marketing in our past chapters, so yeah. let's skip that and go right into the guest relations. How do they play their role? Sounds good. Actually, there's a role in every single one, and I actually love that analogy too. That's why I wrote it. Because at the end of the day, in a business, you have a director, just like you do in a play, and then you have your team, which they are characters in your play. You play our social media marketing the character. The giggler. <laughs> yes, and the giggler. <laughs> My high achiever yes. giggler. <laughs> True. And uh, somebody else plays a different role. So David plays the producer role, and Julia plays a role, and Gina and Sharon. So every single person on the team plays a role. Now in a medical spa environment, you have your guest relations team, you have your injectors, you have your laser tech, you have your uh, treatment and product specialist that we're gonna be talking about here in just a few minutes. You have your MAs. So everybody literally has a responsibility. They all have a character, a script, if you will, and those are the roles that they play within the lifetime client journey. And if any of those characters don't do a good job, then the play is not going to be on Broadway no. very long. No. <laughs> They'll kick you off of Broadway in a second. Just like the client will <laughs> jump ship and go to the other spas. Exactly. And that's why competition is so fierce now. So we want to make sure that through the process that we teach, that lifetime client journey, we want to make sure that every single person on the team knows exactly what they need to do, how they should do it, and what is expected of them. Right, so what is the biggest challenge you see with the guest relations team? Oh my goodness, do we have all day? <laughs> yeah, I wish. Actually, Sharon and I have been listening to some calls that some of our members are sending us. And I have to tell you, I have to be sitting when I listen to them. That's how scary some of them are. And I'm glad that they're sending those, though, so they can improve them. My biggest challenge, I think, that we see with guest relations is that most of them are order takers. They're not revenue generators. And the reason I say that is because when the phone rings, they'll just get on. Somebody says, oh, I want to come in for Botox. Oh, great. Uh, let's see. When do you want to come in? We have plenty of availability <laughs> instead of creating urgency and saying, what's well, going to be my biggest challenge is going to be finding a slot for you. So let me see what I can do. So they just usually reserve their order that they just received and OK, see you later and hang up and leave. Well, that's what an order taker does. Instead, what we prefer to do is turn them into revenue generators. So make some recommendations, reserve those consultations, turn it from a minimal request to a higher request. So they really make a big impact to the actual business itself. I know Sharon wants to chime in here. Go ahead. Well, I love that you were sharing all the challenges that we hear from our members' story. And I also want to point out that this is why having the lifetime client journey set and having it documented is also critical. Because Danny, you say, what's the challenge with the guest relations team? Well, another challenge that they face is without that role clarity. And Dory is going to talk a little bit later about the uh, treatment specialists and their role. But the front desk team, the guest relations team tends to be dumped on 
And then they can't focus on that revenue generation because they're following up for all the rest of the team members. So having each person have clarity on their role and their place in that client journey will increase the level of experience as well as the revenues that our members and our and your med spa should receive. So what other responsibilities should the guest relationship? To me, the number one responsibility is to reserve those get to know you consultations, because at the end of the day, the more consultations we do, the more revenue, the more we're going to help the clients. If we don't reserve those get to know you consultations and they just reserve that Botox and then the injector comes in, does the mini consultation, does their Botox and leave, we just left a lot of money on the table and we did not help the guests like we could have really helped them. So it's very important. One of the most important KPIs, key performance indicators, is how many new calls do they handle how many of those new calls are actually turned into a get to know you consultation? How are they checking people in? How are they checking people out? Are they being a continuation of the process of the lifetime client journey? And when they look at the position description, when they come on board, and if they use, those of you who are members with us, you're very familiar with the guest consultation program that we have. It has a manual with all the scripts, exactly how they should say things. I'll just give you one quick little example. Many medical spas still don't collect credit cards at the time of the appointment, like when they're handling the phone. And people just blow you off. They don't show up. There's nothing to hold them accountable for showing up. Well, that's terrible for the business. You have a team sitting here. Somebody doesn't show up. That's wasted revenue. So just teaching them this one phrase at the end of them making that reservation, and that is this. Now to confirm your reservation, all I need to know is which credit card you would like to use. And that's it. But they fumble and they tumble and they have no idea how to ask and they feel uncomfortable with asking, therefore they don't ask. So those are all part of the roles and in the manual that we offer and in the video, we talk about the three C's, call management, check-in, and the checkout. They also have lead management, actually, which we didn't really dive into too much. But if they know those roles and their duties and their responsibilities and the expectations that are put upon them for that role or that character that they're playing, if they have clarity and they have the script just like you are in a play, could you imagine if the director of the play did not give the actor a script? What kind of play would it be? One day it'll be this way, one day it'll be that way, and again, you're not gonna be on Broadway very long. That's why the tools that we offer are so important to set them up for success, to set them up for their role, that character that they are playing. But without it, you're leaving it to a chance to either succeed or fail. And you don't wanna do that. When you're in business and you've invested all this money in opening up a medical spa, the last thing you want is leave success for a chance, whether you do or not. That's not a smart thing to do. Right. And they can take the responsibility and do their own fact-finding to improve the client relationship before they even get to your spa. So why mm -hmm. not? They have the script. They know what to look for. So why not help people better? Yeah, yeah well, actually, the fact-finding, the part that we teach, that's part of lead management. And, like, for example, we were doing a call a couple of days ago. And, you know, we always recommend putting an opt-in for first visitors on the website so you can generate leads. Well, we're talking to this person on the phone, and we found out that nobody is doing anything with the leads that were generated from the website. Like, that's crazy, first of all, totally crazy. Again, that should be part of the role. So what you want to do is be able to check on those leads all the time and then before you reach out and contact them, that's when the fact finding comes into play. We have Google. Google is my best friend. 
So you just go in there and you put on there, you know, uh, whoever the client that opted in, first name, last name, and I'll guarantee you in the city you're in, you'll find out all kinds of stuff about them. So that will help prepare you to how to reach out and how to start the conversation with someone like that. And that's why it's important to do that. Yeah. Yes. Shivani here says that I am actually in the guest relations position and how do I dodge the question, somebody calling, how much does it cost per unit for Botox? I'm only looking to get Botox. Yeah, that's a great question. Great question. So this is how we teach to handle that. And as a matter of fact, that is part in here. So the first thing I would want to say to that person, oh, have you had Botox before? Yes, no. So are you shopping for price or are you shopping for expertise? Because if you're shopping for price, I can tell you we are not the least expensive, but if you are shopping for expertise, we are the most ideal place for you. So let me tell you how we do Botox here at XYZ Med Spa. Everything that we do here is customizable. So what we do is we invite you in for a consultation. As a matter of fact, we call it a get to know you consultation where you would sit down with one of our experts. They will find out exactly what you would like and they'll be able to give you a quotation as to how much it will be. Because you see to us, it's not about price. At the end of the day, it's about results and how you're going to look and we guarantee that you're gonna look your very best. So let's go ahead and reserve that consultation for you. Let me see what I have available first because we are extremely busy and I may not be able to fit you in. So let me see what I can do to help you. Hearts, 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 hearts. <laughs> like what else could you say? And you know what? Nobody answers that question like I just said. But if you have a script, if you invest in the tools that you need to help you succeed, I like that. Yeah. Invest. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, that's what you would say. So thank you for your question. That was, uh, uh, that's probably the most asked question that we get. And most people don't answer it accurately. Yeah. And I love how you already went into this next step of get to know you because most people don't have a get to know you specialist. Mm -hmm. But we have a question now. We're coming from Kia. Yes. I just wanted to keep in line with that from uh, Boutique Medical Spa. Would you use that same conversation when we get that question on FBN Instagram? Uh, well, I would direct message them to if there's a way for me to talk to them. But that would be a very long answer on Instagram. So I would want to talk to them. I would want to say, you know what? We have so many great things I want to share with you. So please give me a call and I'll be able to tell you all the information that you need. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? So to answer that question, though, is I would still not tell the price. You never want to tell the price because my friends, it's not about price. Like, am I really going to go find the cheapest Botox to get it? Like, I want to find the most expensive Botox <laughs> because I want to make sure I'm in good hands. And that's why you want to have a treatment and product specialist so that way someone can sit down and map out a plan for them. Exactly. Yeah, and if somebody's going just for price, they're not your client for life. Exactly. Thank you. I don't know if you guys heard that, but oh, you have a lavalier on. Great. So yes, that's not the client you want because you know what? They're just gonna be hopping to the next uh, deal. Groupons. Yeah, like Groupons. I call them hoes. Like, like they're just group. <laughs> they're, they're hoppers. They're just hopping from one place to the other to the other. That's not your client. Yes, we have another question. Yes, from Molly. What if I'm a new business? How can I create that lifetime value? Well, you're an expert, aren't you? It's all about positioning. If you want to be seen as an expert, then you better show up looking like an expert. So it starts with the image, how you look. It starts with all your marketing material, your website, how you appear, how you show up. That's what it's all about. You know, you could be a beginner 
but during your, this is something that we teach actually. We're, we having all kinds of medical spas uh, going through their grand opening right now. As a matter of fact, we have three high achiever clients doing their grand opening this week. But before you open, what we recommend you do is do a soft opening, invite family and friends, and then you, of course, that's the only time you should really discount, give it to them at cost. But the reason you're doing that is to get all your bugs out, but to also gain, like they already have, some of them already have 25 star reviews before they even did their grand opening. So all these friends and families that love you and care about you and they come to you, you ask them to give you these reviews because you did a good job for them. That's a great way to launch your business. So it doesn't matter whether you're just starting out or been in business for a long time. You just need to check your positioning and make sure that you're coming across professional. And then of course you've done the homework to be an expert. Now, if you're not an expert, then you better go study some more. You really need to be part of our community because it's not just about being good clinically, it's about being good in business and marketing. And when you marry those two together, there's no stopping you, my friend. You are going to soar. That's why we call it Flying High to Success. <laughs> That's right. That's why our membership is called Flying High to Success. Yes, we have another question. Yes. Okay. Amanda's saying, what if my clients don't really stay? If I'm finding that they don't really stay, what strategies do I use to improve the lifetime value? And what is a good well, lifetime value too short? Okay, well, listen, if they're not staying, something is wrong. It's either your guest experience, the way they're feeling, it's the appearance of your place, maybe it's the team skills, I don't know. But why are they leaving? You need to find that out first. You need to bring in a secret shopper. You need to find out what's going on in your place. I don't know whether it's your own business or whether you're working someplace, but retention rate is one of the most important uh, business principles that you need to monitor and so you find out first why they're not staying and then we're going to get into that a little bit later but the reason you can help them stay is by having also a recurring revenue model so if you turn them into members and you're treating them well then they should be able to stay much longer but listen a value we have some clients that when they do that report client spent, we have clients that have clients that spend with them 50,000 a year, 60,000 a year. I have to tell you, I'm almost tempted not to tell you because it's so unbelievable, but we have a client down in Miami that just did a sculpture on someone for $100,000. She spent $100,000 in her ass in one visit. So there you go. What's the lifetime client of that person? In one visit, $100,000. I was tempted, I'm scared to tell you because it's so unbelievable, but it is the God's truth. Crazy, huh? Go ahead. Go ahead, Sharon. And to go back to that question about the new business, what Dory is saying applies to you as well, because if you don't have the track record to know how long your customers are averaging, you can predict them. She said at the beginning that you want clients to stay for at least five years. So that's how you're going to determine your projected lifetime value, because that's the goal. You want to hit at least five years, creating an experience that will bring them back time and time again. And Thank that, you. That leads into my next question about why do you think most men's spas operate on a la carte versus a reoccurring membership model? Because they're not members of ours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they need to get on med, med, med spa biz university. They, they need to get with the, they need to yeah. get this model. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. Absolutely. So again, it goes back to the example I gave earlier. Somebody calls up, I want Botox. They come in, they get Botox and leave. That's what we call a la carte business model, which is horrible. You don't want to do that. Instead, what we teach as a model 
you get them in to that get to know you consultation. They sit down with the treatment and product specialist. You really get to know them from head to toe and then you customize a program for them. So that initial visit, instead of being $350 or $400, it can be two, four, six, ten thousand dollars $10,000 or 100000 yes. <laughs> <laughs> So why are we limiting ourselves? So we're not exploring enough. Or most plays, most med spa plays and directors don't have that role. They don't have that character that should exist within your business model. That consultation, get to know you, is where you make your initial revenue. And that is missing in most people's model that are not part of our community. And what we encourage all of the members that are part of Inspiration Management and MD business advisors is the fact that you have to have that role. And if you don't have that role, you're really shooting yourself in the foot. You're leaving so much money on the table. You're doing a disservice to your client because they end up going somewhere else. And it's a lose, lose, lose effect instead of being a win, win, win effect. And that's why they need to have that treatment and product specialist. And sadly, what I see on calls is that the owner just doesn't have the confidence in their business and they say well I just don't think my clients would do it yeah they just don't have the confidence to even offer it It, actually it's so amazing we we just did a call today and it was it's a brand new client of ours brand new high achiever and she did her first consultation and was it 5500 Sharon that she generated $5,500 on her very first consultation ever doing it the way we did. And she said, you know, usually it would have been, you know, a few hundred. Mm -hmm. So $5,500. So, yes, you can do it. But, again, you need the role. You need the scripts. You need the manuals. And that's what we teach the sacred system. We don't have that here. But the sacred system is the the play (laughs) book for that treatment and product specialist. And when they have that manual, when they have those videos, when they have those audios, when you have the forms that go along with it and you give them everything they need to play that character and they practice it and they role play it, then you are going to be able to generate thousands of dollars on that initial consultation. You, all you have to do is ask and you will receive. And now, we're not asking. We're being order takers instead of revenue generators. Mm-hmm. That also leads into, there's different levels of being an order taker or gener- uh, revenue generator because at the Millionaire Circle, we teach you how to talk to the affluent clients, which that's, right. that's a whole other level than yeah. a regular person coming in for just Botox. Average joke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So why do they need to come to the Millionaire Circle? Because it is probably, I am most proud actually of that seminar because it is all about marketing and I always love marketing. That's probably one of my favorite things to do. And the Millionaire Circle, if you haven't signed up yet, I think we only have like three seats left, so you should go and sign up. But it is all about how to target the right clientele, how to market to the affluent, how to sell to the affluent, how to profit from the relationship. And when you start by attracting the right people, then you don't have to discount, you don't have to compete on price, you don't have to keep spinning your wheels, wondering why people are not buying. They're not buying because you might have the wrong consumer sitting across from you. So you just have to be wiser in your marketing approach and you have to really have the whole process in place, that whole lifetime journey that we're talking about. And when you have it in place, there's no stopping you. I mean, we have so many clients that do three, four, five million dollars a year. Why? Because they follow the process. You can too. So how do they fulfill the, like, let's move on in the process and talk about delivering the experience and the treatments and how do they fulfill? Well, but that's the thing is you're making promises in the, in the get to know you consultation because we're sitting there, they're telling us, 
oh, I don't like this about me, I want to improve this about me, and then we sit down and we give them these promises, these results that we can provide for them. So once you make those promises, then you have to deliver on that promise or else you're, you're going to be out of business and they're not going to come back. <laughs> so that's why they don't come back. So delivering on the promise is all about that whole guest experience. How do we take care of them now that they said, yes, I trust you. I'm going to give you my money. Now, how can we give that delivery? And that's where a lot of things just go crazy. Because if you don't have a well-trained team, if, again, there's no definition of roles, we don't have protocols, if we're not tracking results, if we're not gaining feedback, if we're not implementing touch points, by the way, that's going to be our next, I think, is how to implement touch points. If we're not making the experience super good, like when I check into the Ritz, versus when you check in someplace else. How do I feel? It's all about that emotional connection and delivering on those promises. It's like when you go to Disney World, everything is orchestrated. They even teach you how to wave in the parade at Disney World. We don't just wave. There's a certain way they wave. So all these things must be, again, outlined in all your training programs to make sure that we deliver on that promise. And it starts at the beginning too. We had a secret shopper call where they just told us that they had to follow the rules. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. So last couple of weeks ago, we were helping a plastic surgeon and I wanted to shop his phone center because he said all of a sudden, like they're just not doing so good. So we called up and literally that person, the way we, we have a recording of it actually. <laughs> This person sounded like she was angry when she answered the phone. And then she sent us on this whole uh, run around to just ask a couple of questions about plastic surgery. And then she's telling us, oh, yeah, I can't do this. I can't do that. I'm like, why? Those are the rules, damn it. <laughs> yeah. Like, what do you mean you want answers? You can't have answers. <laughs> that ruined our experience from the very beginning. It's, it's from start to end. You have to deliver uh, across the whole timeline. Th those are the rules, she says. I'm yeah. like, okay, let's not break the rules. Anyway, oh. yes, go ahead. Well, and the other part of having that promise for the clients is that it is the client's promise. What we often experience is that when the get to know you consultation is happening, if your team does not have the script and they don't understand the treatments that you offer, they're not doing their professional obligation to recommend what the client is asking for. The client has marked that they have fine lines and wrinkles, that they want all these services, and the team member is judging based on their own pocketbook not on what the client is asking for. So when you set that promise, make sure you know that it is not your promise, it is the promise of delivering on what the client is looking for. Nice. Great. Nakia, we have a question? Yes, so Pam, she's in her fields here. Sometimes I feel like my guest relations team members think they are not as vital to the team as the estheticians or the managers. Mm -hmm. What role do they have in this lifetime client journey? Well, they have the most important role to me. That's like they are the face, that initial contact, because if that initial contact is not good, like what we're just talking about rules, then I'm not going to continue. I'm not going to make that reservation. So they are a very important, they're the heart, that's what I call them. They're the heart of your operation. And if the heart is not working well, you're, you're done, <laughs> you're done. So we like to, they're usually the least paid position and maybe that's why they feel that way. But to me, they should be incentivized and that's what we teach in the volume per guest um, compensation model. We believe in having the whole uh, guest relations team united and they should get a bonus at the end of the month based on them helping you reach your overall targets for both service 
retail, membership sales, all the drivers that really make a difference in your business. So to me, they're very important. And if they don't feel important, that means we're not explaining the rules to everybody. So if you go to your team right now after what we just talked about and you define those roles, your role is this. That's why you're important. Your role is that. That's why you're important. Every single person has that role and every single role has a purpose. So there is nobody that's better than anybody in my book. We're all working towards that same thing. And if we all work towards that same goal, then we all benefit. If we start thinking, I'm better than you, or you're better than me, or you do this, or you do that, that's not a team. That's not a team. You have to be united. So, (laughs) that's a great point. Um, Now let's um, move on to... (laughs) at the end of the treatment on to the next you know they've done their treatment so how do we keep them as lifetime members and lifetime clients yeah. yes so the next step in the model that we teach is becoming a member so once we deliver on that promise and we gave them the results that they want now we have to maintain the results now we have to continue that journey And how we do it is with the copy system that we teach. And we encourage every single one of the people in our community, our members, to launch a membership program of their own. As a matter of fact, we were talking to Rosalie today, and that was exactly our topic. She has a membership now, but it's not high enough. And that's the biggest challenge I see over and over the people that do have a membership program they're charging $99 what the heck can you buy in a medical spa for $99 nothing honey (laughs) you cannot buy anything so why even have a membership for $99 so some of our top clients their memberships are 580 you can even go more if you want depending on where you are 350 the lowest you should ever go would be like 199 if you want to go low and that's how you can build six figures a month of recurring revenue on regular basis doing that kind of membership and that's really what you should be able to do and we have several clients that do that and that's what i want for you and if you don't have a membership model right now You can have one tomorrow. Just get your hand on the copy system, listen to it, watch it, and you can implement one. Like, there's nothing stopping you. Come on, get going. Everything you need is on MedSpob is university. Go ahead, Julia. Yeah, Erica's wondering, so at what point in their journey do you present the membership model? Like, how many appointments Mm -hmm. do they come to before you kind of prove yourself? Yes. So we have a process for that. Thank you for that question. It's a very good question. So ideally, what we want is to uh, go ahead and get that customized program, which is, let's say, four to $10,000 or more. Once they complete, they're about to complete it. Before they complete it all the way, maybe on their last visit, you need to bring them back to the treatment specialist. We're going to do a before and after We're going to discuss where they were and where they are now. We're going to uh, encourage them or recognize the fact that they made the investment in that program. Now let's help you maintain that investment. And that's when we would actually share the VIP program. So you invested all this money in getting to this point. The last thing you want is just not to continue So the membership is a continuation of the customized program. And that's when we should present it, ideally. Now, there are other places. If they're already an existing client and you've already just launched your membership, then I'm going to be presenting that membership program to every single person that walks in. What I just described to you is what we would do with a brand new client. So you have to remember, you have brand new clients, you have existing clients. So what we do with the roles depend on where they are in that journey. 
Great question. Yeah. All right. Anything else? Yes, you have a question over there, Nikia? Yes. They're coming at me from all angles. Why don't you like to bring them into the VIP from the beginning so that you are ensuring a lasting partnership? That's a great question because you're going to miss out on the thousands of dollars. Why would you want to do that? So let me tell you the only time we would present it initially. So let's say I do the customized program and somebody cannot afford to give me $10,000. So then what I would do is say, okay, uh, well, there's also a process. I'm not going to go into all the different things, but I'm just going to give you the quick answer. But there are other steps that we teach. You have to be a member to get all those. <laughs> but at the end, what I would do is just, uh, instead, if they can't give me all that money, then I say, well, you know what? I can tell that you're very sincere and you really want to get started. So let me tell you how I can help you. We do have a VIP program and it's amazing. It'll allow you to start getting some treatments and you are able to do it more economically, but also receive savings that will benefit you. So let me explain to you the VIP program. And that's when I would actually go into it. But if you can get the customized program first, that should be your first goal because instead of collecting only 500 you'll be able to collect 5,000 so why would you want to collect 500 when you can collect 5,000 initially we have another one yes and this is a continuation from boutique medical spa do you not recommend having the membership on the website since they should go through the customized journey first? No, you can still have the membership on the website because we want people to know that you have a VIP membership. But again, remember, it's all on how we lead them. It's up to us what they do first, second, and third. We need to be in charge. We need to take control. So if somebody comes in and says, you know what, I saw that you have a membership on the website and they're a brand new client. I say, yes, we do, but we have something even more special for you because you're a brand new client. So let me help you go through the process and I'll show you when you can become a VIP member. And then the last follow-up, but are they not getting a savings on the customized program? They are, and that's what we teach again. So let's say I come up to the $10,000 price you have to give me a reason to actually buy it from you today, right? So what is that reason? So this is what we teach. Again, this is all scripted and because I know you're not going to write as fast as I speak. <laughs> Unless you go back and watch it over and over. But what you want to do is say, okay, Julia, today for this customized program will be $10,000. This is the anytime price. You can come back and purchase at $10,000 anytime you want. However, we get a lot of people that are very excited and they want to get started right away. So if you are that person, we do something special for people like you. What we would do is treat you as a member. So we would take the 20% savings that a member would usually receive and we can apply it towards that $10,000. So instead of paying $10,000 today, you'll be able to get started for only $8,000 today. And that will get us going right away. We can go ahead and schedule all these treatments and you can start receiving treatments immediately. So you can use a credit card, check or cash, whichever you prefer. So let's go ahead and get you started. And that's how we give them the 20% savings to get them to do it that day or else they're gonna tell you, I wanna think about it, I wanna talk to my cat, my dog, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> So you have to create urgency to get them to do it that day. Yes. So, Dory, what is the difference of a medical spa that has a documented system that follows the lifetime client journey process versus the day spas and the medical spas that are out there today? What are the results that people can assume to get medical spa does about a million to million to a year that's average if you implement the model we're talking about 
we take people like you from 1 million to 2 million to 3 million to 4 million to 5 million. That's what we do. But you got to implement it. You have to follow that blueprint. So if you're happy being average, hey, I mean, that's fine. But if you're ready to really step it up, then you need to invest in yourself. I was just on a call with a marketing guy and um, I just about to sign up for a $25,000. I already, I spend like more money on mastermind groups and stuff. So I've already invested $50,000 this year in my education. So I'm going to invest another 25000 joining this new marketing group. I don't even hesitate. I'm happy to give them $25,000 of my money because I know I'm going to get millions back. So you have to ask, it comes to a point where you have to ask yourself, am I happy being where I am? And if you are, hey, God bless you, that's great. But if you're ready to step it up, it takes different action than whatever you're doing right now to get new results. And that action sometimes requires an investment to tap into an effective business model. And that's what you need to do. So, you know, to become a member, you can join our membership for $1,500 a month. Like, would you invest $1,500 a month to take your business from a million to two million to three million to five million? You would have to be a moron to say no, but I'm serious. Like, yeah. like who would not do that? So you wanna get, do better, go, get going. Yeah. <laughs> you want to do better? Your team wants to do better? Everyone yeah. can use the tools. Why yeah. not share the knowledge? Invest yeah. in yourself and invest in your team. Yeah, it, it makes a big difference. It really does. I, I love education, as you can tell. But if you want to sound like this, it takes a commitment. And that's one thing people tell me all the time. It's like you speak a different language even though it's English. <laughs> but it's true. Yeah. But it took practice. Practice like, and time. Like it doesn't happen overnight. You have to really, like did you see how I answered the question about how much is Botox? Like did I even hesitate? It just rolled. And that's what you need to do. If you want to be a true expert, it has to roll. And it takes a commitment to roll. It takes studying. Yeah. Replace your TV time with some med spa time. Because yeah, it's, a, it's yeah. absolutely true. Yeah. Absolutely true. So, but once the beauty though, like an actor, like a good actor on Broadway, once you know your script, you know it, <laughs> you'll see the results. It, it's like, that's why, uh, what was it that they just took off off Broadway? Phantom of the Opera. They just stopped it, actually. But how many years did that show run on Broadway? Was, was it 40 years? Yep. How many years? I don't know how many Before years. me. <laughs> it's been on Broadway forever. And they just turned off the lights. But that's what it takes. Now, what, did they have the same actors? No. But it was the same performance even though they had a turnover in some of their uh, singers and dancers or whatever, performers. 35 years. I was close. <laughs> 35 years. It ran for 35 years. Yeah. That's good act. That's a good script. That's a journey. That's yeah. a journey. Yeah. And so we're points? good. Yeah. <laughs> so we have some shortcuts in the back of this. Uh, chapter 8. So seriously, if you want to step it up, you really need to go to inspirationmanagement.com and check out all the tools that we have or reserve a success planning session. Let my team walk you through the process and how to become a member. It'll be the best thing you can do for you and your business. Seriously. And those of you who are already members with us, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I know that Boutique was on, a few other members were on asking questions. See, that's what I love about our members. They're even at a book gathering. I, I think that takes, you know, that's a commitment. Yeah. I admire that. So way to go, Jennifer and team. Uh, so the shortcuts to success are the guest consultation, the copy system, the manuals, the marketing manual. So you really need to tap into all that and step it up we're here for you so next book gathering is chapter nine 
And you're gonna love this chapter because it's really all about the guest experience and how you can make it a wow one and uh, how you can increase retention. So it's all about retention. So we talked today about the whole journey. Next week or two weeks, we're gonna talk about the touch points. So we can get them to say, wow, that was incredible. So hope you found this incredible. We always aim to please. Please leave us some reviews. Connect with us on social media. We'd love to get some Google reviews. And if you bought this book on Amazon, I would love for you to go on Amazon and leave us a review there. And uh, if you have any questions, you can always reach out. Thank you, team, for being part of this book gathering. And uh, love you all. Yeah, we had a lot of fun. Thank you so much for being with us today. Reserve that success planning session and let us help you. So God bless, and until next time, stay inspired. Bye now. Mm -hmm.